Chapter 6, Trigonometry. Trigonometry, you usually know as a sine, cosine, tangent, or those trigonometry functions, expressions. Right? Okay. But before we want to talk about trigonometry, we need to know a little bit background of trigonometry function here. So you will learn the more detail about this one when you take a calculus two or three, but the polar system. Unless we define polar system, we cannot even begin trigonometry. Okay, according to polar system, so this one you will be given more detailed explanation uh, when I explain calculus three topic about the polar system. Anyway, so x equal to say um, r cosine theta and then y equal to r sine theta here. So like this, it represent x axis. x value represent cosine x value and y value represent sine x value please remember that okay so based on this now we will talk about unit circle okay so before doing it we also need to review a little bit geometry uh, feature okay so about the triangle so we have the regular triangle which means they are all 60 degree here because the equilateral triangle if i make the side become one then you know that everything equal to one here right but now i want to draw angle bisect through the the first angle here Because this is a regular or equilateral triangle, this angle bias to become 90 and then they become 30 degree each. Okay, since this is this is the angle bisect also, as you see they also become segment bisector again. So this length becomes one over two. Okay? Of course, the other side also one over two here. So, I'm gonna throw, uh, erase the second half here. Okay? Okay. Then, now we have 30 degree and 60 degree, 90 degree. So far, we know that hypotenuse, which is one, and then Upper 30 become 1 over 2. We found out. Now we need to know length of this height here. Simply we can use Pythagorean theorem here. So 1 square equal to 1 over 2 square plus I'm going to say h then h square. Then 1 square equal to 1 over 4 plus h square. We're going to find out what h is. So, subtract 1 over 4. Then, h squared equal to 1 minus 1 over 4. As you see, common denominator is 4. So, h squared equal to 4 minus 1 over 4, which means h squared equal to 3 over 4. We're going to find out h, not h squared. So, I took square root, then h equal to root 3 over 2. Okay? Therefore, now we can define this h equal to root 3 over 2. So, please remember those values. They are really important value. So, I'm going to summarize here based on that. So, if we have... 30, 
60 and 90 triangle. If hypotenuse is equal to 1, then opposite 30 become 1 over 2, opposite 60 become root 3 over 2. So that's the one, uh, that's the one split triangle, and then another one. What if this 90 and then those two segments are equal? This one we just call isosceles triangle. Now, I'm gonna make this equal to 1 here. The one thing is, each side, they are because sides are equal to each other, so I can put S and S here. Since this is the hypotenuse, you can set up 1 square equal to S square plus S square, right? So 1 equal to 2 S square, now divide by 2, then S square equal to 1 over 2 here. Take out square root, then S equal to 1 over root 2, or you make a rationalizing, then root 2 over 2 here. Okay? Since this is 90 degree, you know, we can find out each angle is 45 and 45. So this case, if hypotenuse equal to 1, then each length becomes root 2 over 2. Okay? So please, <coughs> sorry, please think about 30, 60, and 90 triangle, then you have to know opposite 90 or hypotenuse equal to 1, then opposite 30 equal to 1 over 2, opposite 60 become root 3 over 2. If triangle is 45, 45, 90 triangle, then hypotenuse become 1, then each length become root 2 over 2. That's the key point to start doing this trigonometry.